So you guys know that the main game that we cover on this channel is of course Dragon Ball Legends, but the Disgaea RPG team hit me up and they wanted me to try out their game. Now note, I've never played a Disgaea game before, but the series has interested me in the past. But what's interesting is Disgaea RPG currently has a collaboration event with Seven Deadly Sins. So today we're gonna take a quick break from Dragon Ball Legends and try out some Disgaea RPG and hopefully be able to experience some Seven Deadly Sins in the process. And here we are in Disgaea RPG. And remember that the Seven Deadly Sins crossover event is currently going on. Now, here we are in the Stronghold and we have a lot of other things that we can actually go and explore. I've already taken care of all like the initial like tutorial stuff and whatnot, but we do have like the Dimension Gate. We can change up our party. We can go summon, uh, go to the shop and also go and check out some facilities. But you guys know me, okay? It's time to summon, all right? Like, it's it's my thing right and plus again we have like multiple characters from seven deadly sins here i at least gotta get my boy meliodas like that that is the goal you know what i'm saying for a multitude of reasons all right so let's see who we can get because if i can at least get uh meliodas uh well either meliodas or maybe like diane or either king then i'm kind of good and hey hook me up oh okay the goat martial artist which actually like in the disgaea side of things even though i haven't seen like a lot of disgaea characters martial artist is actually kind of clean um but let's keep it going uh, okay we, we got you uh, okay we, we got you hello succubus <laughs> okay so as it stands i don't think that we're gonna get anything just yet which is unfortunate but Oh, we got another printy. We got a, another printy. Okay, so yeah, we didn't get anything, but we still have some more. Um, so let's let, let's spend these quartz, all right? At this point, I'm kind of just hoping that we get at least one character from Seven Deadly Sins, because that would be awesome. Oh my. Oh oh oh, this is gonna be a pull pull. There, there's there's no way it's not gonna be a pull. Wait, th this gotta go crazy. Come on now. Ah, darn it. I thought it was. It looked like it was gonna go crazy, but no. Nah, right now it's kind of a... Dude, hello, Cleric. All right. Oh! Oh, Dragon King! Okay. Th this thing is actually kind of fire. Hold on. Yeah, so nothing from Seven Deadly Sins so far, which is unfortunate, but... Oh, okay. Okay, hold on. Uh, Ninja looking kind of clean. Living armor and red mage. Hey, okay. Uh, I think we have enough. Uh, oh, we don't. Ah, oh, darn it. Um, but it is what it is, though. Like, I was really hoping to at least get like one of the characters, but it, it honestly is what it is. So, uh, with that being said, let's go over and uh, change up our party real quick because. I mean, honestly, like, this is what I was using uh, for, like, you know, the tutorial and all that stuff. But we did get some some fire, all right, some flames. Let's go ahead and change this up. So, uh, let's see, character details, checking config uh, characters and character details. You can check various character info, change equipment and skills, and improve skills and weapon mastery. Um, yeah. So we can change your skills as well, uh, which I'm not too worried about right now because, again, we're still learning the game, so I'm pretty sure we don't have to worry about that right now. But um let's see because the main thing that i want to do is oh well alfred is the goat right here um let's see like i'm definitely keeping you so let's see uh how exactly to change everything up okay here we go uh i think i'll actually get rid of pretty and where was that dragon at here you are. that thing looks freaking dope what the heck also we had a ninja as well so i'm gonna put you right here and uh what else if i have anything else with like three stars i do indeed uh i will swap you for you and as clean as you oh wait no i have you i have you nice and four stars okay uh i think i think i will rock with this so this seems perfectly fine to me let's go all right so now that we've knocked that out uh we've what went to summon we checked out um, the party. Let's also check out some facilities. So, uh, symbol type pavilion. 
Okay, so we have uh, king, pawn, rook, bishop, knight, and queen. So pretty much like a chessboard. Uh, let's go over to pawn because this thing seems to... Oh, we ranked it up. Nice. Okay, uh, going back. Uh, other facilities as well. Let's go to the nether hospital. I, again, I'm learning all of this as we go. Give rewards for fall. Wait, failing hard. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> like, you actually get rewarded for taking L's? That's actually kind of fire. I'm not even going to see their lie. Um, but anyway, uh, get rewarded through the nether hospital based on your damage taken and number of wipeouts. Restore action points with drop or doping roulette. Okay. Um, the restoration is once every eight hours, you can use the doping roulette to restore up to 200 action points. Not bad. That's actually really, really cool. Um, I don't have to worry about that right now because as you can clearly see, my action points are full. But that's actually really cool. There's not... Actually, I don't think there really is a game out there that actually rewards you for taking an L. So that's pretty freaking dope. I I'll take that. But all in all, though, let's go to the Dimension Gate. Uh, I want to test out these new characters for sure. So I, I don't want to do a main story. Let's hop into an event. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I kind of want to try out the seven deadly sins events, but I don't know if my characters are like at that point. Um, and it says challengeable. So I don't know how difficult they are. We'll learn as we go. And if this one's like too brutal, there's the one above it. And uh, we'll try that one out too. So uh, yeah, hopefully we don't get bodied. And if we do, apparently we get rewarded for it so there's really no downside to taking an l in this game i just hope that we can take a w warning bro that dragon is clean bro come on hey meliotis traveling to another world oh i didn't get to read everything that's crazy that's cr all she did was breathe all she did was breathe Oh, she's dead. Gone. Gone. Gone! All she did was bring- Oh no, Meli Meliodas gotta go. Meliodas gotta go. Targeting you, uh, let's go ahead and attack. Yeesh. Um, you know what's crazy though? If I did have these guys leveled up, we probably would've- Well, obviously we'll have done better. Gone. Okay, yeah. So the downside right now is just that we're not leveled up apart from um Kilia. So oh mm, scrumptious. I could exploding tiger it. But uh I don't know how much damage he's gonna take. Uh let's do exploding tiger just to be safe. Die! Yeah, Meliodas gotta go. Oh, I'm about to get a nut. Oh, mm, tasty! Yo, like, am I actually about to solo this? I'm literally taking no damage. Yo, he, he might actually be the go. Hey, Exploding Tiger, we're gonna keep it going. Gone. Like, even though everybody else died in the process, I might actually be able to solo this with just one character. <laughs> Which is dope. And again, it's not to diminish like any of the other characters at all. Like remember, they're all at level one, right? Obviously you have to use those characters so you're able to even be able to level them up. So I, I should just did regular attack. I just dealt 1K damage. So yeah, not to diminish the other characters, but when they get stronger, it's gonna be even better. So yeah. Okay, Uh, doesn't really matter who I attack next, but I'll attack you. Gone, 1K damage. I'm getting a lot of chests too. All right, sorry, Elizabeth, but you gotta go. Gone. All I needed was one. <laughs> All I needed was one. Stage clear. Yeah, so fairly simple so far. Uh, but again, I really gotta make sure my team gets leveled up. Because again, I just swapped them out and whatnot, so. There you go, see, now we're level 10. <laughs> so again, you gotta be able to utilize them so you can at least uh, keep it going and whatnot. But yeah, not bad so far. Oh, and that's the only time I was able to do it. But at least we got to do the event, which is actually pretty dope. So I'm not even going to say in a lie. I definitely did enjoy that. Man, I just wish I was able to summon like one more time, though. That would have been pretty cool. Um, I mean, we can probably do what? Like maybe singles? Yeah, we could do some singles, but something's telling me it's probably not a good idea. <laughs> 
Because I don't want to do singles and then not pull, like, uh, the unit that I want to aim for, right? So, um, but for the heck of it, we'll just do one single. Like, it really doesn't hurt, so no big deal. Okay, touch the screen. And again, I'm still learning, like, um, what the animations uh, signify as well, so it, it's, it's a process. It's a process. And... Oh, well, go... Floor Beast! Um, hey, for a single? I I will absolutely take it. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Okay. But, um, yeah, I think that's, like, a solid place to stop. Again, we have seen, like, a solid gist of, um, the events going on right now with Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, th this thing is so cool. What the... That, that dragon is so dope, bro. What the heck? But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and again if you guys are interested in downloading disgaea rpg then definitely go and download the game and check it out again this event is currently going on as well with seven deadly sins so if you do want to get characters like meliotis elizabeth etc etc then download the game and check it out for yourself this was actually fun and i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video but with that being said i'm in like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video